Please note, the purpose of this video is to inspire you to do what makes you happy, as long as you do not harm others in the process of doing so. Me! Right, so today it's at night again you guys, and I have my best thoughts when I'm not expecting them. So I was washing the dishes and then I was like, why do we care so much about what other people think? And I was like, I'm going to take it upon myself as an individual to not care. And this does not mean that I'm going to be a disrespectful person. I've never been a disrespectful person. It just means I'm going to live for myself. Not in a selfish way. You just like, I'm going to live for myself in a good way basically like when i got to the beach you guys i have stretch marks and before when i when people saw that i have stretch marks the people that were like people that i knew before when they saw that i have stretch marks they were like you skinny and you have stretch marks so it was just like something i became insecure about and then every time when i went to the beach i wore shorts or when i went to the pool or any like kind of situation i wore shorts and sometimes when i wore the shorts i was still like oh my gosh the stretch marks are so much for someone that's skinny so i was like oh my gosh people are looking at my stretch marks people are looking at me they're probably judging me and then i was like today i was like why do i care so much about what people think why do we some if you're watching this video like do you care about what other people think or do you just sometimes say it but it still gets to your head i don't know if i'm the only person that's just like so confused so today i was like i'm gonna take it upon myself to not care so this is also your sign to take it upon yourself not to care about what other people think because sometimes it's just like what if the person also thinks you're judging them but what if yeah what if that person thinks you're judging them and you think they are judging judging you so it's like what what's really going on like last time i went to kim's birthday party and then i was like <laughs> kim if you're watching this hi go don't watch this video kim so i was like i was uh now that i know that kim is watching this video i just i just feel so weird okay but anyways kim so i was i was at kim's birthday party and then we were eating steak and there were some potato chips and then i was eating the steak with the fork and knife and then kim grabbed the steak with her hands and after she's like i don't know about you guys but i'm gonna eat the steak with my hands and i was also in, in my mind i was like why did I even use this fork and knife to eat the steak? Because I don't want to eat it with a fork and knife. What made me think that I have to? Because in my mind, I was thinking, oh, let me just try to be like, people, so that people don't judge me or anything. So I'll just like eat it with the fork and knife. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. But Kim basically encouraged me just to be comfortable and just to eat with my hands. Because why? Sometimes, like, why do we do the things we do, guys? I'm, I'm just like, you know, it's that time of the night when you just like have all these questions about the universe and you're just trying to get answers about them. So yeah, do we really want to eat potato chips with a fork when we go out? Or do you just want to use your hands to eat your potato chips? So now on, I'm going to use my hands to eat my potato chips because it's my food. Like, I'm not going to put any germs or anything on it. So from today on i'm just gonna do that so thank you kim for making me realize that i don't have to do that i don't i just have to do what makes me happy that's what i mean by living for myself because sometimes you're like you're so worried about what other people are thinking and then you forget about your own happiness i don't want to i don't want to be old one day and be like wow i should have done this wow i should have made friends with this person wow i should have worn that outfit wow i should have like gone to the beach free wow i should subscribe to pam's channel subscribe what if we all just worried about what we both think and then maybe this is your sign like this is your sign to eat that steak with your hands 
this is your sign to live for yourself you know wear that outfit to the beach doesn't matter if your stretch marks are showing your stretch marks wouldn't have been there if they were not supposed to be there your body hair was not supposed to be there your body hair wouldn't have been there if it wasn't supposed to be there another thing like body hair why are people so angry about body hair because it's not your body so why would you be mad if females were not supposed to get body hair they wouldn't have gotten it and me as an individual i prefer like not to keep body hair but that doesn't mean that i'm not gonna go and harass someone that does keep body hair because it's their body so why are people so mad about it people wouldn't have grown body hair if they weren't supposed to have body hair females wouldn't have body hair if they weren't supposed to have it so why are people so mad about it and yeah i feel like it's one of those moments you guys when i'm at when it's at night and you just you just have so many questions about the universe you just wonder does someone else on the internet like somewhere far away look just like you and have the same name as you and that kind of stuff so this is your sign to love for yourself because life is short you guys this is a coronavirus and you don't know what the future has in store so if you want to do something do it if you want to learn to play the flute learn to play the flute if you want to start painting start painting if I don't know I don't know like am I gonna upload this video because I feel like I feel like maybe you are watching this and all you hear is yeah, blah, 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 blah. and in my mind I'm thinking like I'm making a sense but do you guys understand what I'm trying to say I feel like uh, yeah so another topic is being yeah this like this whole video actually is about this is my day one, I'm not kidding about that. Like, interacting with people out of your race. For the longest time, I was so scared. Not like scared, but I, I held myself back from making friends with people that were out of my race. Because before, the people that I knew were like, oh, let's say if you have a white friend, you're trying to be white. So, that's not, and that was not the case. You just... You see someone you're like oh maybe this person is a nice person and i want to get to know this person and you want to be friends but then you're gonna be like am i gonna be judged about it but that is something that i already stopped caring i have friends that are out of my race my religion and it was the best decision that i ever made to interact with people that are just not to interact with people that are different and diverse that's the word i'm looking for diverse so don't be shy one day if you get married don't be shy to bring someone home that is out of your race and stop let's just like stop judging each other and let's just stop feeling like we have to do certain things i don't know if i'm making sense oh my gosh have body hair it's a human thing to have a big belly after being a mother it's a human thing yeah it's like another thing like people when you have a baby when you when you have a body when you have a life inside of you that's a beautiful thing to have a life inside of you so if your body is left looking some kind of way after that you should be proud of yourself and people don't ever feel like you have to look a certain way just because of what people expect you you did so much you carried a life inside of you for nine months nine months a life inside of you so if your body does not come out looking the way it used to before people don't people don't deserve to say anything about it because you did such a beautiful thing and some people do get insecure about that like after giving birth i don't know how i'm gonna feel about that in the future but 
even I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna feel insecure about my stomach after giving birth and stuff like that but I will never do something just because someone said something about it so this is my sign if you're watching this Pam in the future continue not caring about what other people think because you only get one life you only get one and it could end any moment you don't know it could end today tomorrow you never know so i hope you guys take my advice and start to live for yourself do what makes you happy wear what makes you happy be with who makes you happy and i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to do this and to do this and i will see you guys in my next video